The twisted tale began one late October evening in a city named Dayton, Ohio. Nicole Allen was an innocent mother who was about to make a grave mistake. Buying a small toy for your child whilst running some errands is something every parent has done, but no one expects that toy to crumble and reveal something so terrifying. Nicole's trip home was intended to be short, but her evening was far from sweet. Getting closer to her local dollar store, Nicole is reminded of a few things she needed to buy. She pulls into the parking lot, oblivious of what was to come. She skimmed through the store, aisle after aisle, picking up the necessary items to take home. Pretty quickly, she made it to the back of the store. Unsure why she hadn't grabbed a basket, she's faced with the toy section. Plastered on the walls were a range of pink, shiny toys, strategically placed for the sole purpose of attracting young children. Nicole, being a mother to a young daughter, was automatically drawn to this section of the store. Her eyes barely grazed the shelves before one thing in particular caught her attention, the evil stick. It was a coral pink five-petaled wand. The center had a foil-like mirror that distorted the faces of whoever dared to look within. The packaging was a thin piece of cardboard. Painted on it was an image of an anime character. The over-exaggerated facial expressions made it difficult to look at for too long. The message printed below promised to send out wonderful music. What Nicole didn't see was the yellow and pink graffiti design with the words evil stick. It was so perfectly blended in with the colorful packaging, she didn't give it a second thought. She scooped it up and made her way to the cash register and checked out. After returning home, Nicole noticed the evil stick states it is for ages three plus. In a split second decision, she decided that the toy will be fine for her daughter and will keep her occupied for a while. She takes the stick out of its packaging and hands it to her daughter. She quickly discovered that was a horrible mistake. Her curious two-year-old instantly pressed the music button. She was startled by the sinister chuckle that this innocent toy had let out. The young girl, although scared, began pressing on the foil mirror. She was terrified as she watched her own reflection shift like a ball of Play-Doh. With her eyes fixed on her new toy, she continued to poke the mirror as it fell apart in her hands. As the distorted mirror tumbled to the ground, the young girl began to cry, not because her toy had broken, but because of the immoral photo she had uncovered. Nicole, hearing her daughter upset, goes to comfort her and see what the problem is. The little girl was hesitant and cowered. Nicole was puzzled and concerned by her daughter's reaction. Unsure of what to do, she pressed the music button, hoping to make her daughter happy again. As the sinister chuckle played on a loop, Nicole was faced with the overwhelming image that sent shivers down her spine. An image of a devilish girl. Her eyes looked as though they were hollowed out with a spoon. All 32 of her teeth resembled that of jagged rocks in a cave. There was something off-putting about her smile. A large kitchen knife was perched on her arm, imitating the act of self-harm. The image of this thing was centered on a blue background, blood everywhere. Nicole was stunned, almost like a deer in headlights. She didn't know what to do or who to tell. She barely managed to pull herself out of her fear and panic to comfort her daughter. The only thing she could think to do was report it to the news. The story spread like wildfire. This family's horror story then became the Evil Stick Saga. The media exploded, and the image, to this day, is ingrained in a lot of people's minds. The aftermath of this created a lot of questions that not all have been answered. The reason these images hidden in this particular toy went unnoticed for two years was because this brand did this with all their evil sticks. Ironically, not all of the images were evil. 
The majority were light-hearted, being either anime characters or animals. The company did add in a few animated zombies and creepy images, but nothing compares to the image found in this girl's toy. This happens often, and no one seems to know why. Perhaps you had an evil stick of your own. Or maybe your child has a toy that isn't truly as innocent as it seems. Maybe if you gaze at your child's favorite toys for a little longer, you might just find something truly evil. It should make you think twice before purchasing an innocent-looking toy for your beloved child. <laughs> 